Welcome to another arcade fix. Today we're in the arcade and we're going to do a little upgrade to the Batman, Roth Reels Batman. We've already unplugged this one here and they've issued a service bulletin uh, and the service bulletin has to do with the wires in the steering wheel. It says they've identified a potential issue associated with certain games, blah blah blah, and um, under rare conditions it is possible for the steering wheel to overheat and be damaged and uh, continued operation of this game without performing the necessary inspection and rework may result in an eventual fire hazard and what we're going to have to do is the two metal strain relief clips installed on the steering wheel can cut into a wire harness creating a short so we're going to remove and discard the clips and screws now, where this is, they're talking about right here in the steering wheel, you have to remove the hubcap. So this is the hubcap and it's four screws. So we're going to remove these four screws first and uh, gain access to the, the wiring harness. Okay, well I've taken the cover off and as you can see, this one here doesn't have the, the clips that are pictured in, in the bulletin, and it doesn't have the springs. It looks like it has a um, some type of a, a cloth material, almost a carbon fiber looking material covering the wiring harness, and right here is where the screws hold the, the clips if they're there. So evidently this is a later model that has already left the factory with this uh, modification already done. So uh, we took this off for nothing, but we didn't know, so uh, we, we best uh, check it out to make sure. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the one off the other one just to make double sure too. But we have one more thing that the boss wanted us to do, so we're gonna do that next. Just for reference, if you have uh, the original wiring harness, I, I assume, that has the springs rather than the, the plastic uh, mesh material uh, it's going to look like this and what you need to do is take these screws and, and take this clip off of both sides so when you take the clips off then it will look like this the clips will be gone and you'll just have the, uh, the springs are, are loose. They're not held down with that clamp. But uh, in my case, uh, evidently it's a later production run and they had already uh, changed the harness and the two that, uh, that I had doesn't have these springs around the wires. And uh, one more thing. We were also instructed, and this isn't in the service bulletin, um, this is from uh, my boss, and he recommends taking this plug loose. It's two of these plugs on the end of the steering wheel, and I have to gain access to the control panel. And anyway, you either clip, cut the red wire, or remove it out of the harness. And of course, that's what we're going to do in, in the video here. Uh, that prevents the 5 volts from shorting out in the harness. Of course, this also, if you noticed, it's got the spring around the harness. So, I don't know whether if you have the upgraded harness without the spring, if you even have to do this. But uh, we went ahead and done it just to be on the safe side. Okay, well the next thing we're going to do, it's not in the service bulletin, but um, they want us to, to do it anyway. These buttons are lighted, and they're lighted with 5 volts. And if the wiring harness was to short out and short the, the 5 volts, uh, that's what would cause a fire hazard. So we're going to go ahead and take the, the 4 volts out of the control panel, drop the control panel down, and there should be two harnesses, one for the left button and one for the right button, and we're going to unplug those harnesses and we're going to disconnect the five volts going to the buttons 
that way the buttons will not light up but uh, you won't have to worry about the fire hazard so we're gonna go ahead and do that now okay well we've dropped the dashboard down and as you can see this is the the steering wheel unit and right here is where the wires come out for the for the button harness and it's, it's two of them like I said one for the right and one for the left there's four wires in each one um, two wires for the buttons and two wires for the lights in the button so what we need to do is take these two connectors apart here and the red wire is the 5 volt so what we need to do is just go ahead and either clip this uh, wire the red wire on each one or take them out of the housing. I'm going to see if I can't take them out of the housing so if anybody wants to put them back in all they'll have to do is just pop them back in but um, we'll see uh, how easy they are to come loose out of that housing and uh, decide what to do on that. Okay well, what I did was I just pushed a little tab down and pulled the uh, connector out of the harness that way if anybody wants to put them back in to get the lights working again in the future they can. So I've got the two wires out of the two harnesses now so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take these up and and uh, then run them back here and tape them up so that they can't short out on anything and that then we'll just have to put the dash back together and we'll be done. Okay well we got the wires all taped up so we're ready to button the panel back up. Okay Batman is up and running again. Mr. Freeze. Select your And the only difference now is the, the buttons are not lighting. So we've uh, removed the, the five volt, took the five volt off the wire going up into the wheel. So we won't have to worry about uh, that five volt shorting out in the wheel and causing a fire. Just in time to witness the awakening of a new ice age for tonight. We'll play a little bit of Batman here.
Well, that's it. Batman's up and running again, both of them. So that's it for this arcade fix. Have you had your arcade fix today?